Well, you know what? I thought today, I thought let's just talk about some things that we so took for granted. And now we really, really miss them. So first of all, before I start, I just want to say hi to all my friends down in Texas area and the troubles they're going through right now with the winter storm and the freezing of the hydro and the water and the power outages. Uh, when, when you're not used to those kind of storms and you're not, you know, it, it can come as quite a shock when they finally do happen. Um, but uh, yeah, I just hope everyone down there stays safe and stays warm and helps everybody each other out. Uh, and just keep in mind our thoughts are with you and uh, yeah, stay strong. It, it'll warm up again soon, <laughs> let's hope. But uh, I thought I'd talk about because we take so many things for granted. You know how you take things for granted like your parents will always be there or you can do something later you don't have to do it today and things like that uh, but what this uh, virus has taught us is that everything is taken for granted right uh, like being able to walk outside your house without wearing a mask. Two years ago, you'd have laughed if you thought, if anyone had said that to you, right? Or that you weren't allowed to have anybody over to your house that didn't live in your house. No one would have ever thought that. Uh, movie theaters, restaurants, small businesses, travel, everything canceled and you can't do it. In some cases, you can't drive from your city to another city. Things we've taken for granted. And it's those little things in life that really make your life, you know, somewhat bearable in a lot of ways, right? You have to take a quick look at all the traumatic stuff that's happened and it's been on the rise since this has all started. Um, you know, divorce, way up. Uh, mental health issues, way up. Uh, suicide hotline calls, way up. Depression, way up. Learning in cl some classes and schools, um, kids are falling way, way behind. So many things have happened since the, the that we just thought, oh, every day you're gonna wake up, the kids are gonna go to school, you're gonna go off to work, and it'll be a normal day. And even that is taken for granted, right? Because a lot of people can't do that anymore. Some places just shut down the schools completely and they said, now you're gonna have to teach your kids at home. Well, wait a minute, no, I, I have a job. I have to still go to my job if you're lucky enough to not have your job shut down. Uh, well, that doesn't matter. Your kids have to stay at home. And by the way, you can't get a babysitter. You can't get a babysitter in because they cannot be from outside your own household. So you're forced to take time off work and possibly in some cases lose your job because if your school shuts down for eight weeks, how do you explain that to your boss that you have to take eight weeks off? right? It's, it's just, it's the collateral damage and the things that we miss. You know, having Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, how many people weren't able to do that? I haven't seen my sister this year because I'm not allowed to travel to their town. You know, people outside the city are not welcome right now. Uh, you're not allowed to go there. So I can't even drive to visit my sister. Doesn't matter that the cases are way down here and they have virtually no cases there. Doesn't matter. You're not allowed to do it. 
uh, you can't, you know, and then for that matter, many times during this year, my daughter and my son aren't allowed to come over, right? It's how much did we actually, will anyone take any of this stuff for granted anymore? Will you take for granted being able to go and celebrate dinner or like a, a job promotion or an anniversary or a Valentine's Day or you know what? Calling somebody up for a date. Let's go to a restaurant and a movie on a date. Let's go dancing on a date. No, you can't do that. First of all, there's no restaurants. Second of all, you can only do takeout. If you're going on a first date, what's the first date gonna be? You're gonna invite the person over to your house? That's a little sketchy. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong there, right? Uh, ladies, that's, it's just, it's become a crazy, crazy world. And a lot of it depends on where you live, how much this is affecting you. If you're in a state that doesn't shut down and everything's open, yeah, you might have to wear a mask here or there, but other than that, things are good. If you're in some places like our Quebec here or uh, other provinces, you're not allowed out after eight o'clock. Everything's closed. You're not allowed to visit family members. You're not allowed to go to your cottage. You're not even allowed to drive to Ottawa at some points this year, which is four kilometers down the road from where I live in Ottawa. Like Quebec is right there. We're on the border of Quebec with Hull and Gatineau. And at one point they had police on the bridges turning you away and fining you if they caught you in the province. Like at what point did we ever think that I would not be able to drive down the street to see somebody? At what point did you ever think that you cannot go on a date with somebody because no one, nothing's open? You know how you date nowadays? You date on Zoom. You date on Zoom and other apps. And guess what? You're not learning nothing about the other person. You're not learning anything about other people that way. It's just like... When people say, what do you, what is, what do you miss the most, Don? Uh, do you miss traveling the most? Do you miss cruise ships the most? Do you miss, you know, going to the movies the most? Do you miss having big parties and celebrations and festivals? And my honest answer is, um, I miss everything. I miss being able to just go out of my house and do what I want without hearing, you know, stay at home, don't travel around, you're endangering people's lives. Even if you go out to do groceries, you could be causing the third wave, which will be even worse than the second wave. By the way, there's a million variants out there now. The vaccines might not work. Vaccines are being late. We're on target to beat our vaccine rollout. No, we're not. You know, yeah, like, I miss a normal day. I miss talking about how much money the government's spending and things like that. I miss talking about, oh, this government did that, or, uh, you know, I can't wait for this movie to come out in theaters, or hey, there's a festival coming to town. I can't wait to go to Winterloo. I can't wait to go skating. I can't wait to go to a baseball game. I can't wait to play baseball. What do I miss during this pandemic? Well, if I have to be honest, I miss everything. And by everything, I mean I miss having a life. 